at that point in the 1920s and 30s, nothing symbolized mechanical power as much as the steam engine. Particularly on a bright winter day when you would uh, have a bl bright blue sky, the sun would be shining, the, uh, the, and the steam would tumble and pile up and blast crowds over the, over the uh, locomotive and then the, the wheels would start to move and it, the, the huge long train would start to get up and the, the row, row, row sound as a game gate was a, a very impressive um, demonstration of the power of, of, of steam to run these dogs. And I think that it's something that still exists in a way because in, you just see a, a photograph or particularly a moving picture that time and you get that feeling of enormous power that the steam engine provided. And in my grandfather's time, this was the most welcome thing, uh, was a, uh, a development you could have. He pioneered in 1873, and as far as he could get, go, went as far as Worthington by train, and the train stopped there. And so from then on, it was by ox cart. So uh, the contrast between the ox cart and even a 1873 train was just simply enormous. And so that um, people in his generation really um, appreciated the train more than anything else. 